Hi, I'm Dean Edu and welcome to Tipsy Time. Episode of Tipsy Time. Today we're going to be making trotters and sugar beans curry, uh, Durban style. We had a poll before season three started, and you guys voted for the trotters and beans, so we're going to make that today. Let's get started. So I've got about half a dozen of lamb trotters, and we're going to put this into a pressure cooker and get it nice and soft. So to the water, we'll add a heaped tablespoon of ginger garlic paste, a half a teaspoon of turmeric two black cardamom, two green cardamom, three cloves, a bay leaf, a cinnamon stick, and an anise seed. And last, I like to put a bit of salt as well. Okay, so we're ready to pressure cook. Okay, so our trotters is nicely boiled, it's nice and soft as you can see, and we can get ready now to make our curry. First, we're gonna get in some oil, and I'm gonna add in some cumin seeds, two chilies, and curry leaves, about uh, 15 to 20 curry leaves. Just flavor our oil. It's on a high heat. Now that our curry leaves are nicely sizzling, as you can hear, we'll get in an onion, one sliced onion. So next we'll get in one chopped tomato. Uh, as you've noticed, I've only put cumin seeds in here because when we did boil our trotters, we added in bay leaf, anise seed, cinnamon, etc. Even the ginger garlic actually was in the boiling process of the trotters itself. We just want these tomatoes to soften up. Now that our onion and tomato mix is nicely cooked, uh, we're going to get in our dry spices, some masalas. So I've got some Kashmiri chili powder, about a tablespoon, a tablespoon of Madras masala, a teaspoon of leek masala, a teaspoon of garam masala, and half a teaspoon of turmeric. Let's get that in. I like to roast my masalas before putting in the meat. And then next, we're going to get in our trotters. So, in the I, I love, I also like to use the water that the trotters is boiling in. It's got that nice gelatin stickiness. So we'll give that a quick mix. I didn't put a lot of salt when I was boiling it. Add a bit of salt now. Get this on a medium heat to braise nicely in and continually add the water that we boiled the trotters in. So it's been cooking for about 15 minutes now. So uh, we're going to add in some sugar beans. I boiled these sugar beans earlier uh, with some anise seed and salt. Uh, you can use canned beans if you'd like. So let's add that in. Give that a quick mix. more of the, the water that the trotters is boiling in. Okay, now we're gonna leave this on a medium heat for about half an hour. Okay, so our curry is cooked. Just gonna garnish with some coriander and then we're ready to eat. Okay, it's time for the tasting. Mm. 
perfect. Perfect, perfect. It's very, very tasty. It's nice and spicy. Um, this is one of those really sort of um, homely type foods that make you like sort of Miss Durban and, and that real, you know, family coming together and this huge pot of trotters and beans and oh, it's awesome. I'm so happy you're here to share it with us. Yeah, definitely. It's very good stuff. Great. Thank you.